Okay. Uh, for our next prank, we are going to phone up Crown Taxi in um, Scarborough, uh, in the outskirts of Toronto, and we're going to get them to send a taxi to Queen Street East over in Toronto. What the taxi company doesn't know is the fact that we are sending 251 Queen Street East, which is actually um, the Diamond Taxi Cab Dispatch Services headquarters. So um, we're effectively phoning one cab to send a cab out to another spot to take them to their own address. The question is, will they catch this? And uh, let's give this a shot. So here we go. Again, for your own uh, coverage of identity. Star six, seven. And. Hi, yes. I was wondering if I could get a cab out to uh, 251 Queen Street East, please. Pardon? Oh, yes. Um, 366-6868. Yes. 251 Queen Street East. Pardon? Um, that's a house. Uh, I'm going to 789 Warden Avenue. Yes. 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 Yeah, sure. Um, Mike Hawk. Um, this morning, please. Actually, now. Yes, right now. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Bye bye. They were very amicable. <laughs> you know, you'd be surprised. Taxi companies are some of the most friendly people on the planet. Now, hopefully, they won't trace the number and figure out from my voice identification that I'm actually back out in Victoria. <laughs> and hopefully, I won't get a, um, hopefully, I won't get some sort of a... Now, the thing, of course, is, is that when they trace the number back, they're going to realize it's another cab company. So, <laughs> they're going to send a number out for Mike Hawk. <laughs> I hope to God that they actually realize it was a prank and decide not to call that number, because if they ever do figure out who it is, I am in deep shit. I just used my own voice, which is also the worst absolute, this is also the um, biggest no-no. Never, ever use your own voice when you're um, doing a prank call, because you can get easily traced that way. Um, anyway, so that's my next uh, favorite video. Let's try this on another couple of taxi companies. Okay, the next ones we're going to try are um, the, actually no, we're not going to use an airline service because they're difficult to get a hold of. So, okay, our next group is going to be Century Taxi, and we're going to call them, and we're going to get them to send a, um, to send one out to, um, all the way out to Etobicoke. Um, to Etobicoke, or Etobicoke, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to send, um, we're going to get, uh, one to send it out there and to bring it to their own address. Uh, hopefully they won't remember that it is their own address that we're sending, that we're trying to get them to get the taxi to. So, here we go. Okay, let me see. Once again. Star six, seven. Hello, I was wondering if I could get a cab out to 130 Westmore Drive, please? That's correct. Uh, that's out in Etobicoke? Oh. Okay, perhaps I have the... Um, I'm willing to pay, uh, perhaps, but I have the wrong city. Perhaps I have the wrong city. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry about that. Thanks anyway. Bye-bye. That one backfired. 
This is why it pays to know something about the geography of the area you're calling long distance. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's, um, that's my stupid mistake. Um, let's try that with two more companies. Hopefully both of which are in the same area. Okay, um, okay, change of plans. We're going to phone City Taxi at said Westmore Drive, and then we're going to get them to send out to another address in Etobicoke. Um, okay, this time we'll get it right. Let's try this again. Hello, I need a cab out to Force Secretariat Drive, please. Uh, 213 1135. Uh, 130 Westmore Drive. Thank you. Did you hear that? They said, be there shortly. <laughs> they are so routine now, they just even, they, they fall for that. You know, it's sort of like, be there shortly. They sighed, but what the hey. Okay, so I've now just sent three taxis out to randomly completely different spots. Let's see if we can squeeze in one more within the remaining three minutes of the video. Um, actually, no, even better yet. Let's find a taxi company and pretend that they actually that we actually think they're a pizza delivery place. Uh, yes. Uh, 1985. Are you checking my horoscope? No. Then why are you asking for my birth date? Fair enough. Okay, anyway. So, um, okay, let's see. Who are we going to phone next? Oh! Um, we are going to phone Celebrity Wheelchair Accessible Taxi. So, the plan is as false. We're going to phone them. I'm going to pretend to be... Um, I'm going to pretend to have Down Syndrome. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go, Hi, do you sell taxis? And what we're going to do is I'm going to pretend to be absolutely stupid. And um, by being by pretending to be a disabled that way, I'm going to make my life, I'm going to make their lives a living hell. Or actually, no, better yet, let's just do the pizzeria joke. So here we go. We're phoning Celebrity Wheelchair Accessible Taxi and pretending that we think it's a pizzeria. Celebrity Wheelchair. Eh, it's a living. Uh, don't you just hate it when you get an answering machine? <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Um, ah, here we go. Center taxi. Jesus Christ, they're really slow. How much time do I have left on here? Forget it, guess they aren't biting. Well, that's the end of my pranks for tonight. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow, or maybe even later tonight, when I prank call a pizzeria and uh, make fun of, their, uh, of the fact that they do takeout. You should hear this one. I should mention this is a blatant ripoff, uh, or this one will be a blatant ripoff of a uh, British, uh, of a British uh, radio show host. Anywho, uh, enough uh, prank calling. Next week we prank call psychics. Toodles.